meta immersed. It's inducting people into the virtual plane of existence, combined with Zuckerberg's company, formerly known as Facebook, now called Meta. They renamed their company. That's how big and front and center this metaverse concept is going to be. The metaverse is not just a technology. It is the future world which we will all live in. That's what the World Economic Forum announced. Here you have the acceleration of digital transformation has enabled a new normal for education and work. The new normal, the new normal, the new normal. You remember hearing that in COVID dystopia. A new, a new normal for what? For education. Think about the true education implications of that. Everything going online, human contact fading away, not because of a pandemic and a disease. That was just preparatory to really what was coming. That was ushering this in. You see where this could be taking us. And where did it start? It started with this photo that was released by Facebook years ago. And it was foreshadowing what's coming with the metaverse. It's Mark Zuckerberg. And notice all of the regular commoners are plugged in and immersed into their virtual world. But who is the one remaining human, remaining bipedal, remaining walking above the others with a smile of satisfaction on his face? The Pope is big with the big tech people. Now guess who else is promoting? this VR reality, none other than probably the most notorious occult practitioner in the world today, Marina Abramovich. No, it's the metaverse is going to be a counterfeit reality like the devil has never been able to invent. He wanted to be the creator. He wanted to be in the position of God. He couldn't do that. He can't do that. But now you have another place for people to escape from. And I know I'm repeating myself from media on the brain and the media mind, but that was all taking us somewhere total meta immersed. If human beings from driving to manual labor to immersing ourselves in the metaverse to having the education there and jobs there and AI taking over, hiring AI taking over all the physical labor, information labor, even writing, music, creativity, art, and things of that nature. It helps us understand why Harari keeps saying things like, what do we need so many humans for? Just as the industrial revolution of the 19th century created the urban working class, so the automation revolution of the 21st century might create the useless class. And then the big political and economic question of the 21st century will be what do we need humans for? Or at least, what do we need so many humans for? Do you have an answer in the book? Um, at present, the best guess we have is uh, keep them happy with drugs and computer games.